we are in Würzung at the Aquana Indoor Swimming Pool Center, what is used normally in Germany, in each city. Weekends, families are going in the afternoon, play and wave system for swimming. Main energy consumption is regarding keeping the water on temperatures. There are a lot of water surface where you lose a lot of energy and this needs a nearly continuous heat consumption of around 280-290 kW. Here's an installation of a C200 we delivered to Envo, the energy supplier for the system here. First, Envo built a combined heat and power plant with reciprocating uh, natural gas fired engines. Heat use of the complex system was not so well designed that one engine broke after nearly eight years. We placed it uh, with a capstone C200 microturbine. It was the first C200 microturbine in Germany in a combined heat and power plant application. The energy regulation system is operating with the reciprocal engine and the turbine. So the reciprocal engine is continuous, full, full running if the heat consumption is big enough. And if the engine is not strong enough, the, uh, the turbine will step on. So the turbine will regulate the rest needed energy to keep the energy consumption low and then regulate it. And if the consumption is too low for the engine to run in full load, the turbine will run as master. So that the turbine is running, uh, optimizing the total heat supply of the CHP system. In the next few years we plan to uh, shut down the reciprocating engine here inside and we'll replace it by a C200 microturbine. This installation we have a two-stage heat exchanger that increases the uh, total efficiency of the turbine from the 82% to 88 to 89% because in the second stage we use low water temperature that we have an exhaust temperature of around 50 degrees Celsius with no condensing. So this is a big advantage of the high energy production of the system. So we reach here thermal output of 320 kW in peak. After the disaster of Fukushima and the following discussion in Germany concerning the energy term, that means the phasing out of nuclear energy and more use of alternative technologies, it's quite obvious that green technologies with low emissions and high efficiencies take um, center stage very fastly and um, microturbines fulfill all these requirements, especially in uh, combined heat and power plant